so what's up guys it's Miles Carter back with another video again and I know this video is different first of all I'm upload I'm uploading it on a late Saturday night or on a Sunday or Monday because you know I suck at uploading stuff because my computer is so slow or it, the title is weird smack talk Saturdays or you just don't watch my videos at all and you're just new here well this video is called smack talk Saturdays is this whenever I talk about basketball college basketball NBA basketball and I just talk about sports in general because you know I like to watch sports and I just want to talk about it since my channel is almost like you can look at see anything on there so I might actually start uploading videos on Friday and Saturday so let's get straight into the topics number one KD I don't know if y'all saw this or not but the Warriors are not playing with KD tomorrow on Sunday against the Knicks because he got injured during that game against the Washington Wizards. He got like he hyperextended his knee all because Sean Livingston decided to flop and fall on his knee. See, you see how that rubs off on other players. If you flop, you injure somebody else. What kind of mess is that, man? KD has to suffer with an injury that could probably end him for the whole rest of the regular season. And now it's gonna be hard for the Warriors to maintain that first seed spot. But it may not be hard because they're 50 and like 12. And see, the Warriors, they just get on my nerves, brother. Like, I'm not even going to get into that because I don't want to get as much hate as I did on my um, Why Can't Stand Warriors fans video because we have a lot of bandwagon fans around here. But, yeah, I'm not even going to get into that. All right, so chill. Talking about the Warriors, the Cavs actually picked up two new players this week, Darren Williams and Andrew Bogan. And I got really blowed on that game on Wednesday against the Celtics whenever Darren Williams missed that game winning three. All he had to do was just make that three. He was open. He was in the shortest range to try to make a three in the corner. And he was open, man. He's like a decent three-point shooter. But LeBron said it was cool. Post-game interview, he said he likes having him on his team. So, yeah, it's not – LeBron wasn't really upset at him because they still have to adjust. After, after joining a new team, you have to adjust to that new team and stuff like that. And they got Andrew Bogut. Now, some people may be saying, well, Andrew Bogut isn't good. I didn't even told my dad that. Whenever I heard that news, I was like, yeah, let's go. And then I told him, it was like, well, if he was – but if he was really good, he'll be harder to get. You know what? Shut up. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Don't beat me, man. Don't beat me. And talking about the Cavs, the Celtics are next. And like the Celtics, I think they're gonna make it pretty far in the playoffs this season. They're probably gonna make it to the conference finals, and that's gonna be like a showdown between the Cavs and the Celtics. Because like, man, the Celtics are doing really good this season. Isaiah Thomas, I think he might end up. It's it's between him and Russell Westbrook for the MVP. That's what I think. All right. Some people may think it's like might be like Stephen Curry again or James Harden, but I really think it's in between Russell Westbrook and Isaiah Thomas and probably James Harden. Cause man, that, that he's a beast too, man. I'm gotta admit, he's holding the Rockets up, man. I gotta admit, just like with. Also, Westbrook with the OKC Thunder, same thing. So, yeah. Well, yeah, talking about NFL, Antonio Brown, bro, he better be good next season. He's like one of the highest paid wide receivers in the whole NFL. Like, he, if he doesn't do good this next season, he's he's gonna it's gonna be horrible, man. Cause they're paying him like NBA player rate. So, yeah, he better he better be good next season. He better show up, man. So, yeah, the Falcons. I, I still, I'm still a fan, all right? I'm not like one of those fans that whenever y'all lose the Super Bowl, I'm like, I leave y'all, like, much love to the Falcons. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for Smack Talk Saturdays or Sundays. I'm telling y'all, I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Probably on Sunday, you know, I go to church on Sunday, but I'm going to upload this, like, on early Saturday, Sunday morning. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this Smack Talk Saturday. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will do more of these, like, whatever trendy stuff happens in sports or the NBA or NFL. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, follow me on all social media. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share this video if you want other people to see it and see my opinion about sports. So, yeah, I'll do more of these soon, like I said earlier. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.